What is up guys, welcome back. In this video I'm going to go over all of the unreleased vehicles coming to the Criminal Enterprises DLC. I will be talking about how they will perform, their prices, release estimates and much more. There is a total of 12 yet to be released vehicles coming to this DLC. We already received 5 vehicles in this update at launch and the rest will be releasing every week on a Thursday. There is 12 vehicles releasing as part of Drip Feed, so expect 12 event weeks, 1 for every vehicle. First of all, 6 new vehicles will be coming to the Southern San Andreas Autos website with four coming to the Benny's website and two coming to the Legendary Motorsports website. So without wasting any more time, let's go over a rundown of all unreleased vehicles. The first vehicle which we can expect to release is on the Legendary Motorsport website and it's the Obey 10F. This is going to cost $1,675,000. This is primarily based on the second generation Audi R8 in real life. As you can see from these images, very kindly gathered by classic GTA on Twitter. Twitter, so shout out to him for all of the hard work, go drop him a follow. The Obey 10F is a sports car and from the game files the top speed is around 99 miles per hour which will 100% change until we get the real life in game testing for this vehicle when it releases. Either way this sports car looks awesome. Next up we have yet again the Obey 10F however this is the wide body version which will be available on the Benny's website so yes there is going to be two variants to the Obey 10F, one Benny's which is wide body and the other one a normal variant. The wide body will cost 575000 from Benny's. The next unreleased vehicle is the Benefactor SM722. This will be also available from the Legendary Motorsport website and will cost $2,115,000. This is also in the sports class and is based on the Mercedes-Benz SLR Sterling Moss in real life. So there we have it, both Legendary Motorsport vehicles, the Obey 10F and the SM722. Next up on the Southern San Andreas website, which has the most vehicles coming to it, we have the D-Class Vajero ZX, or more commonly known as the Modern Camaro, one of the most anticipated vehicles from the community and it is of course drip fed. It's unlikely when this vehicle will release but hopefully it releases rather sooner than later. It will cost $1,947,000 which isn't a bad price tag for all of the looks for this vehicle. Next on the Southern San Andreas website we have the Impromptu Runa ZZR and the vehicle is based on the Pontiac Trans AM Gen IV in real life. It will cost $1,320,000 and this is pretty much a modernized and non-weaponized Runa 2000. You can very clearly see the resemblance in the images but overall it looks like a great vehicle and it is one of the cheapest vehicles in this DLC. Next we have our first off-roader in this video and it's the D-Class Drogra. This is based on the Chevel off-road concept in real life and it has a base price in-game of $1,870,000 and a trade price of $1,402,000. This off-roader looks amazing in my opinion. Rockstar does a really great job on the real-life counterparts for these vehicles. They almost look identical to their real-life versions. Next vehicle is the Dinka Kanjo SJ. This is a compact, the first compact we have shown in this video. It is based on the Honda Civic Coupe Gen V in real life and its base price in-game is $1,370,000 and its trade price of $1 million. Next up is the Dinka Proslude based on the real-life Honda Prelude, if you couldn't already tell by the great choice of naming, Proslude, what a great name Rockstar. Anyway, this is another coupe and it will cost you 1,310,000. Now the final vehicle on the Southern San Andreas website is the Ubermarkt Reinhardt. This is a new sedan and it's based on the BMW M5. Finally a BMW 5 series in the game and this will cost $1,598,000. And on that note, let's move on to the Benny's website. Over on the Benny's we have the Grotti Brizio 300 and it will be getting a wide body variant for $475,000. This is a compact and let's be honest it isn't a bad vehicle but the Brizio 300 wasn't exactly my go to vehicle and I doubt that will change with the wide body variant. The BF Weaver will also be getting a new Benny's variant and it looks amazing. This is the BF Weevil Custom, now turned into a muscle car, and because of this, it can actually pull off wheelies. This will cost $525,000. It looks kind of ridiculous, but I love it in a weird way. And the final unreleased vehicle is the Ubermarked Sentinel Classic Wide Body. This will cost $487,000 for this wide body variant, and it looks absolutely beautiful in my opinion. I'm loving the new wide body variants to the existing vehicles in the game. And there we have it, all 12 unreleased vehicles coming to GTA Online in the 
next couple of weeks. Once again, I'd like to give a big shout out to Classic GTA on Twitter for literally sharing these images to everyone for free for all the hard work he put in getting these vehicles. Give him a follow. It's totally worth it. Big shout out to him. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and which vehicle are you most excited for? I can already guess which one it might be, but pop a comment below. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a like as well as subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.